The Indian Air Force IAF is set to take delivery of its much-anticipated light combat aircraft, LCA, Tejas MK-1A, beginning in October 2024. According to the Financial Express, this marks a significant milestone in bolstering the IAF's fighter fleet, which has experienced multiple delays over the years. The Tejas MK-1A, an upgraded version of the indigenous LCA, features advanced capabilities and modern systems designed to enhance operational performance. Currently undergoing final testing after completing integrated Israeli software modifications, the initial batch of aircraft will feature Category B engines. These engines, either previously used or sourced from earlier agreements with General Electric GE, will temporarily power the aircraft until the new General Electric F404IN20 engines arrive in November. HAL Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, the state-run manufacturer responsible for the Tejas program, is scheduled to receive two GEF404 engines per month from November onwards, in line with GE's revised commitments. Initially, the first delivery of the Tejas MK1A was slated for February-March 2024, but delays in engine shipments caused the timeline to shift. This delay was addressed during Indian Defense Minister Rajnath Singh's recent visit to Washington, where GE provided an updated delivery schedule. HAL originally planned to start deliveries in March 2024, following the February 2021 contract for 83 MK-1A aircraft, but the first flight of the MK-1A only occurred in March this year. Further testing and software modifications requested by the IAF resulted in a postponement of at least four months. To overcome these persistent delays and meet future demand, the IAF has proposed a public-private partnership PPP, model. This plan seeks to establish additional production lines for the Tejas by involving private sector partners. Air Chief Marshal V. R. Chaudhary has emphasized the need to increase production capacity to support the induction of nearly 300 Tejas variants over the next 15 years. This initiative aims not only to strengthen the IAF's fighter fleet but also to encourage collaboration within India's aerospace sector. The Tejas program, which began in 1983, has seen numerous delays, with the first prototype taking to the skies only in 2001, despite an initial flight plan for 1994. While the IAF received initial operational clearance for the aircraft in 2013, deliveries have been slow. Out of the initial order of 40 Tejas MK-1 fighters for remain pending. However, the IAF has expressed interest in acquiring an additional 97 MK-1A aircraft to augment its fleet. The Tejas MK-1A is a lightweight, supersonic, multi-role fighter aircraft designed for agility and versatility in combat. It is equipped with an UTOM Active Electronically Scanned Array ASA, radar, allowing it to track multiple targets simultaneously with a detection range exceeding 200 kilometers. The aircraft's advanced avionics, improved radar, and enhanced weapon systems enable it to engage enemy targets from long distances while minimizing radar detection. The MK-1A version incorporates several upgrades over its predecessor, including mid-air refueling capabilities, better electronic warfare systems, and modern cockpit instrumentation. These features make it a formidable asset for the IAF, which aims to replace its aging fleet of MiG-21s and strengthen its overall air defense capabilities. The IAF's ambitions for the Tejas extend beyond just bolstering its fleet. India and the US are currently in talks for the co-production of GEF-414 engines, which will power the future Tejas MK-2 fighters. Additionally, several countries have shown interest in acquiring the Tejas, including Nigeria, the Philippines, Argentina, and Egypt, as noted by C.B. Anantakrishnan, Chairman and Managing Director of HAL. In the past, nations such as the US, Australia, Indonesia, and Malaysia have also expressed interest in the aircraft, with Malaysia shortlisting the jet for its defense procurement. Despite the challenges the Tejas program has faced over the years, India remains committed to promoting the fighter as a critical element of its defense strategy. Expanding production capacity and pursuing international partnerships are part of a broader strategy to solidify India's presence in the global defense market and ensure the timely delivery of aircraft to the IAF. The IAF's commitment to the Tejas MK-1A signals a positive step toward modernizing its fighter fleet. As deliveries begin next month, the Tejas will become an increasingly significant component of India's air defense strategy, offering enhanced operational capabilities for both domestic and international missions.